Hey guys, today we're talking about stagger. Stagger is the difference in circumference of the tires on the same axle. Um, so it's not the right, just the right sides or just the left sides. It, how you measure stagger would be the rears and the fronts. Do the rears first, then the fronts next. For this case, we're gonna do measure the right rear first, then the left rear. Um, yeah, anyways, but they use higher front tires. You just do one axle at a time. Don't don't just take the lefts off or the rights off the measurement. Don't that's not stagger. Stagger's on the same axle. Let's get a measuring tape. You have to have a stagger measuring tape for this. You can't use this. You have to have a stagger one, but I don't have a stagger measuring tape because we're still getting all the stuff to actually race go-karts in real life. No, it's the only thing we have, we're working on is the engine, but, uh, still gotta get the chassis and everything, but, uh, like the offset durable go-kart chassis, which, well, we're getting a wedge body, we're getting a wedge body on, mm. and we gotta get all the other stuff, so, racing, we're racing durable, that's what my plan is, so, yeah, um, but, uh, let me measure these quickly, so, Let's take the tire off the axle here. Um, so first we're going to measure them. Do the middle of the tread. Um, there we go. Alright. 30. It's here. Yep. Oh, it's right. 30 inches. All right. 30 inches. <laughs> a little motor on there. It's powered by a battery. There we go. Put it in the tread here. Gotta do the middle. So, when you measure the stagger, oh shoot. Do the middle. Can't do the ends, you gotta do the middle. Probably. This is the left one now. This is the right one. Oh my gosh. Hold on a minute. Damn, I don't know what the last one was. The yeah, last one was 30. This one's about 23 to 24. So now we're going to do 30 minus 24, which would be about. Wow, hold on, I got things. Damn it. Ten minus thirty minus twenty minus Thirty minus Let's just do it on my hand. Alright, so six inches stagger, way too much. Uh, obviously, in real life, these aren't even racing tires. These are all my tires off my scooter. But well, you gotta use what I gotta use. So we're gonna drain some air out of this. I can change stagger if you have racing tires. Like, if you, say you were using a racing stock car, like maybe, let's use a super late car, for instance. Um, if you have too much stagger, drain the rear. So like we're gonna use the rear as an example. So drain the, the right sides. If you have too much stagger. Not just the right side, but it's just on the same axle. So if you have too much stagger in the rear axle, like the rear axle tires are gonna um, like drain out some on the you either drain it. Or get a smaller size tire, and that's how you change stagger. Um, if there's too little stagger, you're gonna have to add some air, or maybe get a bigger size tire, but that's how you change and add stagger. Should be enough, but I'm hoping. Let's try now. Uh, yeah, still too much. Uh, 
as we can go. Uh, it's probably a bad example. It's too big size of a tire. But uh, maybe we might have a go kart I can show you guys, but it's gotta be a while. So, uh, it's, it's carefully probably about let's see. Now let's do a different circumference. Maybe the right source like always. Um, one thing you want to be okay, so if you have too much stagger, the car will be loose. Um, if you have too little stagger, the car will be tight. Make sure you have the right amount of stagger. Be aware of tire growth, too. This tire growth can happen. Um, most of the time, the rights will grow it's more than the uh, left. But, uh, all right, so we did get some different circumference now, um, but, huh, you want the right sides bigger than the left, because you're going to be turning left, staggers to help the car turn, as we said, don't want too much, or don't want too little, um, if the right sides grow bigger than the, I'm sorry, if the left sides grow bigger than the right, so I'll mess up a stagger and make the car loose, or, and, or, sorry, make the car tight, um, but if it's loose, that means, there's too much stagger on the right side tire that axle. You want, when you have stagger, you want the right, the same amount of circumference on the right side, same amount of circumference on the left side. So the two left side tires will be the same size, the two left side tires will be the same circumference. Circumference, I meant, same circumference. But uh, now the tires should be the same circumference because that's not how it should be all right let's see that's okay so now let's see I think we have, let's see what happens in here we'll speed up here we'll just push it forward here okay not too bad not bad a little bit not too bad let's see what happens when we try to turn it Yeah, um, so there we go. This video is probably shitty uh, or terrible, but uh, or a terrible video, but uh, otherwise, oh, this is a good video, but because we can't get like another stagger here. I tried already. Here, have a camera on it. There's wait, so now the diff, okay. So we don't, let's compare now. So obviously we forgot to do the other one. So the right is 27 circumference. Remember, always measure in the middle. Don't measure on the side. Always measure in the middle, and you want to inflate these to um, the right amount. Now this measures, this measures 24 like you used to do. Now this Let's try measuring the end. Yeah, don't use measuring tape. Use, um, okay, so it's still 24. Uh, use, don't use metal measuring tape like I'm using. Use stagger tire measuring tape. I'll put the link down below. Um, on Speedway Motors, they have it. It's um, you should use that one because it's more accurate than this. But so this is 24. The right side is 27. 27 minus 24 is three inches of stagger. Um, I don't know. If, doesn't seem too. I mean, yeah. two inches is the lowest you can go for a durable go kart. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Please, somebody correct me. I know there's a couple people who race in real life who actually watch my videos, so I want to correct. 
Um, last video, so we're talking about Crossley. How you would weigh it is when you put the car on a scale. So you just have scales for each tire um, to weigh that, like, like the right front weigh the left front. You just put them all out once and you weigh them. You can write them down. And, yeah, that's how you do it. Just on the scales at your house. Just buy race car scales. They come, say they come in packs of four, maybe I'll have to research it, but I'll put that in the link to check because uh, somebody corrected me. But then, like, I forgot, how could I forget about scaling? Like, like, I literally, but. all right, so that was the video today, guys. Um, I don't know if people like this one, but let's see, let's try this again. I'm gonna try it again, see what happens here. Uh oh, what's wrong? Why is it there we go. Too much dagger to cover the stage. Let's see how fast. There we go. So we did change the stack. Drained out some air. Smart size tires can help also. We probably should have used a different tire, but I used my scooters over there. We should. We don't have any racing tires, obviously, because we're still getting supplies to race durable go karts. Still getting the chassis. We're actually working on the engines right now, but uh, otherwise, yep. So it's three inch circumference. Last time five, so we changed it. That's an example. Um, if you're wondering where I learned this, I learned this from a Circle Track magazine article. And Mandy Potch, um, that's two places I learned. Um, or Mandy and Mike, Mandy Potch and Mike Mahaney. So that's where I learned Stagger from. Uh, when you race dirt oval or asphalt oval, you always have a bigger tire in the right, smaller tire in the left. Um, it's because you turn left. Oh, for a high banked oval, you want, now this is no secret, everybody knows this. I, Secrets will be like how much stagger you use. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you that. Or how much camber, but these aren't secrets. Everybody knows this. Um, who's a race? But uh, anyways, well, though I'm not racing yet, I mean, I'm getting to racing, but I studied this. So anyways, so on a high banked oval, you want less stagger because the banking helps the car turn. But on a flatter banked oval, like Martinsville, or for example, you would want more stagger to help the car turn um, it's like 8 degree, 12 degree banks, which is pretty small, so you need more stagger. Um, don't put too much, don't put too little. Um, and yeah, that's your lesson about stagger today. Hope you guys liked it. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're going to review how to change stagger. Either get a bigger tire, or you can add, or drain air um and stagger this is the physics of racing uh setup is a physics of racing so this for this is for this is stagger for circle track racing oval and circle track are the same type of racing i don't know why they call it circle track when it's an oval but i guess i can see why but uh but yeah and short track racing stagger most short tracks are low bank. There are high bank short tracks, but stagger, in other ways, it's determined. So it's basically determined by the turn radius and the degree of the banking that's about it. And yeah, Tr but also remember when you do a setup, one thing can affect the other. So setup, the whole setup works together. So be careful. Um, like. Yeah, we'll do another video on this. Um, I got staggered down, so I said, hey, why the hell? Maybe I should do this. So I, I did a video on engine tuning, um, on iRacing, use iRacing, so I use this for real life. Please. But uh, otherwise, so it took me like an hour to get everything together for this video. I don't even know why, but uh, it took an hour, but, but, but found all the missing parts, actually, in this toolbox over here yeah. that's stagger for you hope you like this video if you don't that's totally fine i'm still learning 
anybody that makes them in life, correct me. Um, I want you guys to rate this video if you guys are race fans or racers, or maybe you work in the racing industry. I'm a race fan, so I looked up a Circle Track magazine article, and I looked up a Mike Mahaney and Manny Potts review. Say, correct me if I'm saying that right. Um, that's how I learned Stagger. And I even, um, one thing you can compare Stagger to, I forgot to tell you this, a solo cup. So you gotta get a solo cup. Hold on, let me find that. I doubt you have it in the garage, but, uh, let me see here. It's, no, we don't have a solo But just take a solo cup and roll it, and that's basically what Stagger is. So take a solo cup and roll it at Stagger. That's your basic definition of what Stagger is. Um, it's as simple as that. So thank you guys for watching. Um, like and subscribe. And again, if you're from the racing industry or you're a race fan, comment down below about Stagger. This is for oval and circle track racing, not for... This is not for drag racing or road racing. This is for oval slash circle track racing only, both asphalt and dirt. Um, there's always a debate of asphalt, stock car, asphalt oval track racing, um, and dirt oval track racing. There's always a debate the ways are different. They kind of are, but then they're similar. So, but anyways, yeah. So that's I. Um, Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is that why tires grow is because of heat and tire, and tire abuse, which is tire wear and heat combined, that's tire abuse. So yeah, that's why tires grow, because of the heat. But uh, I'll put the link to the articles and the stuff I got this from. I watched a long time ago. I made a video a long time ago, but I learned some new stuff, and there we go. See you guys later, and see you at the track.